Guys, I have no idea what the fuck happened yesterday, but... I've spotted something. There are a couple ways we can do this. He's already in prison, man. Holy shit. couple ways we can do this. <laughs> well, first off, let's take care of this. That's it. The barrels and the chests. On the duck. Go on, you mute sacks of flesh. Put your backs into it. I'll not lose another day to the tide. The Lord Dread awaits. It sails billow with Dallas's breath. I'll... The Magister stops barking orders. He sniffs the air like a predator turns to face you, the wolf eyeing the deer. Oh, but yours is not a stink like the one that surrounds us, spat from a dying sea. Yours is a scent that invites a question. Tell me, have you ever been strung up by the hands? Your body swinging like a bell's clapper as your bones are being broken with cast iron rods? Respect. Try rancor. He licks. Oh, I'll kill you. Don't worry about that. See, I'd like to string you up too. Rack you with rods and leave you dangling over a puddle of your own blood and piss. Oh, no, 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 that won't do at all. Innocence is a mask that doesn't fit you. I'm very good at what I do, see. I don't even need a sauce hound yapping at my side. There was a whiff of something in the air when you approached. A current of filth, that is to say, sauce. Best convince me I was mistaken. He leans in closer and sniffs. You can pretty much convince him otherwise because he's just too far ahead of you in terms of level at that point. Must have been ambition I smelt on you, not the magic that dare not speak its name. Very well. In that case, we'll forego the gallows and turn straight to the hunt. The very definition of your order's existence. Seems peaceful here, doesn't it? A quiet day in a quiet town. One wouldn't think these drifting woods toss on dwarf troubled waters, but they do. Consider for a moment the dwarf. What is he? A mule? A beast of burden? But some defy that role. There are rats among them, dancing to their rat queen's tune. I've need of a rat. Yeah. Of course. I must depart post haste. But Julian here will stay behind and be a good little parrot. Ask and he will answer. Stay behind? But. But I've my orders. Same as you. Dallas. Like I said. <laughs> and with that, I must be off. No hard feelings about the death threats, of course. How about we part shaking hands instead of stringing them up? How very heartwarming. One love. Yeah, thanks for the advice there, Mary. Diligent men and women, a stranger like you may run into uh, troubles with them. Should this happen, just wave this piece of parchment in their eager little faces. My signature will placate them without fail, I assure you. Adieu and good luck. The Lord Dread awaits. The use of the gallows, I pass on to you. The time has come, my stitch lit lovelies. We set sail. Get on board and man your stations. So he's gonna wander off. As I was saying before, there's a lot going on here. I don't know what happened in the previous video, but it ended 13 minutes. It was not supposed to end in 13 minutes. So you missed one of the best parts of the whole game. When you tell the, the beggar to get a job and he goes, yeah. Source Hunter. 
I'd be whining and dining aboard the Lord Dread if it weren't for you. Your meddling in Magister affairs had better be worth it. A man of stature wouldn't be moored on a dock with no one but dead fish for company. But here I am, and here you are. So, to business. Now answer me. Did you meet with a Magister caravan on your way into town? The hour was growing late, and I'm beginning to worry something might have gone wrong. By the bishop's bones, you saw it. Out with it, woman. What happened? Void woken. That means source was used. Which means some third party must have attacked first. And I've a fair idea who that might have been. Raymond, that old goat, always suspected there's more to the Driftwood Dwarves than meets the eye. Hate to admit it, but I think he may be right. Too many things have gone wrong along Reaper's coast to attribute to bad luck. Magister ships sinking, weapons disappearing, and as you've seen, a caravan attacked and destroyed. Rumor has it the Dwarvian Queen has... Yeah, give me those experience points. That is what I want you to prove. There's a local thug, Lohar. He runs an operation out of his hideout beneath the Black Bull Tavern. I suspect this man of being a spy for his queen. It may be interesting to have a word with him. Find out what he's up to. Where I really want you to ferret around is Reaper's Bluffs, to the west of Driftwood. It's wild territory, remote and hostile where I believe the Dwarves may have set up a base of operations away from prying eyes. Should you find any such place, and better yet, proof that Lohar is working on behalf of Queen Justinia, you will be handsomely rewarded, I assure you. They've always been snakes in the grass. Cheap labor, sure. And hard workers, too. Half of them are their Queen's spies. Her eyes, her ears, her poison-pouring hands. You know what Queen is like, surely. A tyrant and a master strategist to boot. In that case, go for and let the hunt commence. We've got a bunch of things going on here that we're going to take care of without any real issues whatsoever, but I have to go save Ephon because he's being attacked right now. And he doesn't even have his crossbow. So... Ephon is in this house. I'm watching you, stranger. That's all you have to say. You may as well leave me to it then. Let's have sex. Where are you? Come on, can't I go play with the others? What's this? Damn it, Barwell, you're supposed to be stopping intruders. There's still a fugitive on the loose. It's... it's Bellworth, sir. And the fugitive's description doesn't match. I don't care. Keep on alert until this fiend's head is on a spike. I don't want to end up like the others. Now, you... what do you want? You can't just come in here as you please. There's Magister's missing. I'm trying to conduct a bloody investigation. Hmm. Good to hear someone cares about our missing uniforms. If we don't find the culprit soon, I fear we'll lose another good recruit. Yes, a vile little tinkerer goes by the name of Higba. Three of my magisters have gone missing of late from right here in Driftwood. All signs are that Higba is responsible. The fiend's greed gave him away. He was peddling items that belonged to those missing from our ranks. He saw my men before they could seize him and fled. Catching, killing, I don't care. There'll be gold for whoever puts an end to this rat. If you see anything, tell me or my men at once. Otherwise, keep the hell out of our way. Okay. So much fun. Now... There we go. So, he's kind of screwed. The only thing I could do for him is have his wolf do the work for him. I'm ready. Miss.
only three enemies to deal with, so it's not a big deal. And once we get rid of their magic armor, it's game over. Hey, I can go. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of your physical armor first. The stool, really? That's that's what you did. Get both of you with this. Well, once you move, you're done. guys it doesn't affect what's going on upstairs one step that's it I just want to be right up in your face from there. It's kind of ridiculous. goes, right? The wolf. She has no attack points whatsoever. Don't know why you're going that way.
But I need to find your freaking crossbow. Let's heal up. I forgot I have Blitz Attack. I really want to get Phoenix Dive, but we'll get that later. I'm still recording, right? I can't get over how you missed all that good stuff. So now if you go this way... There's a guy there, but we'll do that in a sec. Who has his crossbow, man? I'm hoping they don't they don't fuck with us upstairs. That's actually not bad. I, mean, I don't know if she could if it's better than no. Kinda is. Kinda, not tremendously. I mean, I don't really need it to set crippled because she has crippled. Or a crippling effect. Wasn't there another crossbow somewhere? Alright, so go over here, look at this. This is one way. Another way would be coming up. That gives you experience points. What are we at now? 120,000. These are all the sorcerers we're going to need to speak with. I, mean, I would not move on with what we're doing until you speak to all the sorcerers. You want to get all this. Even if it doesn't do anything, they'll give you tomes, whatever. They'll give you stuff. Good stuff. So now when we leave, if they attack, and they will, we're just going to kill them. I might have to buy something, which I don't want to do. A painful death, trapped and defenseless. The spirit of an emaciated... Don't forget to speak to this guy. ...his own corpse. He shakes his head and lets out an exasperated sigh. Of all the stupid ways to go. Oh, it was a stupid, bloody accident. I dosed myself with some poison to make it look like I was half dead. I figured they'd take me to see a healer and I'd have a chance to escape. I must have taken too much of the stuff, though. Wound up fully dead instead of half dead. Those bastards haven't even moved me body. The spirit scowls at you. I did nothing. Or I didn't do what they accused me of, at least. A miscarriage of justice is what this is. That's putting it bloody lightly. Nobody deserves to rot in a hole like this. Best leave that secret for someone who needs it. You can stroll out of here whenever you like. Well, that's what the, that thing was about. Let's take that. But once you dig this, you're here. And that is an interesting spot right here. Oh, sorry. has nothing now. Who has all 
is shit. So this is an interesting spot I didn't want to really get to till later, but we're here now. This also has the arena, but I believe... dagger for her. For my Sabeel. Alright, so... I'm supposed to get experience points for finding this place. I just want to buy weapons. No, it's... Down for a little scuffling and tussling? Let's see if you got some fight in ya. Well, that just may interest our current champion. M yeah, that one's pretty good. I mean, I usually don't buy anything, but I have to. Keep that just in case. All right, I need a uh, fire tome. She'll want to talk with you herself before she'll assent to any challenge. Watch your words, mind. She takes against you. There'll be no talking yourself into her good graces again. On your way, then. We're gonna do that later. We're gonna do that after we've done everything else available to us. get a, a better crossbow within the next next few areas. I want sex with you. We're gonna talk to Lohar right now, but I would typically wait. What's this? I found something. Actually, 
Yeah, you know what? Let's not, let's not worry about that. Nah, we probably should. The reason why I'm going to talk to Lahar is... You get out of the way. Let's get out of here, man. I don't, want, I don't want to do this yet. There we go. This guy's got some decent shit, too. But I don't really have anything I can sell him. This tavern, this is the Black Bull Tavern, this place has got some serious-ass things going on. Before you do anything else, what I would do... Is, well, let's speak to him. Like, I really like to get this shit taken care of first. I want to sit on the fucking bench talk to him. Stop! Ah, oh, finally! Your colleague over there is absolutely useless. I'll have a bowl of the house stew, if you please. Ah, of course you are. Here I sit, a paying customer with a purse full of coin, and I can't even get my hands on a little something warm in my belly. After all I've been through, too. He lowers his gaze, then looks up at you expectantly. His lip trembles dramatically. It's my mentor. My dear mentor. He was... Killed by those void beasts. I told him we ought not to travel in the hills, but would he listen? No. Now here I sit, my closest companion gone, our precious cargo worth more than Lucian's right ring, lost to the beast infested wilds, and the waiter won't even bring me any stew. Ah, oh, then perhaps my luck has changed. Yes. Perhaps this awful business might soon be behind me. Tell me, how are you in, well, Void Woken? Ah, oh, terrific news. Then what I ask will be little more than a trifling. My mentor, Lee, and I were hauling in a goodly number of fine wares from the Southlands when we crossed paths with a great brute of a Void Woken. He made short work of Liam, may the gods rest his soul. I managed to escape, but my precious cargo was left behind. We'd invested our entire livelihood in those wares. I'd do anything to get them back. Of course. Of course. We'll, um, discuss the specifics once you've returned. Now, give me your map. I'll show you just where to look. I doubt those beasts out there have any use of such a cargo. I can't tell you how thoroughly you've made my day. Good luck. There's that. But if you go over here... Where is she? what I get. Bloody tainted stew. Makes a little, no, oh, fish into some of my stew. Bloody mackerel must have been tainted. Save me, Lucian. <laughs> so now we have <laughs> tainted stew ingredient. That's very important for now. Also, I would like for you to go up here. And speak to this individual here. Occupied! An elf in tattered red robes shifts through pages of handwritten notes spread across the table. So many suspects, so many potential culprits. I need to narrow down the list. Think, you damn elf, think. A floorboard creaks beneath your foot. The elf leaps around abruptly. What? What? Why do you sneak up on me? Don't you know how dangerous that is, the way things are? Haven't you heard? 
My own Magister comrades are vanishing from right here in Driftwood. Whoever's behind it must be stopped. If you hear anything, come to me. Three Magisters vanished so far, all within Driftwood. My comrades believe some tinkerer named Higba is behind it all, but they're wrong. I'm certain of it. That's what I'm intent on finding out. This tavern is full of scum and degenerates. The true culprit could easily conceal themselves amongst them. I have to keep investigating, keep the pressure up. The culprit will make a mistake eventually. If you see anything suspicious, let me know. You do that. Now away with you. All right, so... The, the way we're going to do this is actually the best way in terms of experience points. Oh, now you don't care about him anymore? All right, cool. And I don't care about you. So, let me think. Let's go. We're going to go this way. When I come back, we're going to take care of some more. We're going to get more side quests. We're going to take care of some things. I'll see you then.